There are lung causes to low LV preload. The most important of these is a tension pneumothorax. This is defined as air accumulation in the pleural space that leads to increased intrathoracic pressure and subsequent mediastinal shift. This will impair venous return, which leads to decreased cardiac output. The causes of a tension pneumothorax are trauma or positive pressure ventilation. And the clinical signs that you may see are hypoxemia, high vent pressures, and jugular venous distension. The treatment is needed needle decompression, and chest tube placement. What will tension pneumothorax look like on echo? This is one of the few that you cannot definitively diagnose with TEE alone, so it's always got to be in the back of your head as something you're considering, especially if you see an underfilled LV or you're not quite sure what's going on. Some of the views you'll use are a metasophageal four-chamber view and then a lung ultrasound exam. The echocardiographic features you may see with TEE are hypovolemia, where you may just think it's a hypovolemic patient. You may see atrial or ventricular chamber compression, as was seen in this patient in this top picture right here, without clear fluid in the pericardium. If you look at the LV and the RV size, these will be underfilled. And the IVC will be dilated. It won't be collapsing at all because the impaired venous return will cause distension of the IVC. Again, you cannot confirm tension pneumothorax with TEE alone. It can create greater clinical suspicion, but you need lung ultrasound or further imaging to confirm tension pneumothorax. So if we're going to do additional imaging, how does it work with lung ultrasound? There are certain findings that rule in the presence of pneumothorax or rule out the presence of pneumothorax. There's a pretty standard exam where there's three different points on each side of the chest that you can look with a linear ultrasound probe. Some of the factors that will decrease the likelihood of pneumothorax are the presence of lung sliding, the presence of lung pulse seen here, and the presence of A or B lines as well. All these findings can be present when you see the parietal and visceral pleura up against each other. However, if the lung is dropped because there's a tension pneumothorax, a lot of these signs may be absent. If you use M mode as well, you may see this sandy beach or seashore sign that's caused by movement of the lung. However, if you do the same thing in the presence of a tension pneumothorax, you may see what's known as a barcode sign where you don't see movement of the lung below it and it creates this static appearing image. Also, what's pathognomonic for pneumothorax is this lung point where you see the lung point coming in and out of the view. This is highly, highly concerning for pneumothorax. 